Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're taking a look at the Frame Arms Girl Base Lard, and it's not new, it's been out for a while, and it's still, I think, probably one of the most popular Frame Arms Girls kits out there, and that's probably evident just by the fact, too, that they've already made it a variant of it with the Zelficar, and there's another version of that coming out in the near future as well. So, it's a popular kit, and I can see why. It's a really cool Frame Arms design, and so we'll go through all of that here as we go along. Of course, building it is, you know, pretty much, it's very usual if you've built any frame arms girls kits especially and just because of the fact that I've actually built the actual base lard kit as well the the frame arms kit that this is based off of in the cutlass version of that anyway so I'm already kind of familiar with some of the base lard parts of this but it does have some really cool new aspects to it and just the color scheme of it's really cool and it's just a really fun kit so as always guys a big thank you to SA Gundam store for their support if you didn't know, they do also have a good load of Kotobukiya stuff and Frame Arms Girls and Megami Device stuff all over on their site as well. So check the link down below if you're interested in checking out any of this stuff there. You can check that out on their site and use that coupon code there, Zakurilis10, to save 10% off everything as well. So as you can see here in her base form, she's already got some weapons with the rifles mounted up there on the shoulders and the kind of cannon arm and the kind of scissor pincer arm there as well. But she does have, a, of course, a whole bunch of other accessories that are not already mounted on there, so let's go through all the accessories here first, shall we? Alright, so first up here we have a set of water slide decals as usual for the eyes, but with this we have all the eye decals either in blue or in red. All the pre-printed faces are all in blue, so if you did want to use the red eyes, you would have to cover those up, repaint the faces or something using these red eyes here, so you have those. We also have these three little markings there, kind of uh, tiger, rabbit, and bear, and then the Frame Arms Girls logos and a couple of warning logos there. And so for the face options here, we've just kind of got this slightly looking off to the right side look there. Another one is also just kind of a stoic face, but just looking straight ahead. And then we've got two versions of this kind of angry action face. One of them looking a little bit off to the left, and then one of them looking straight ahead. And you do also have just a plain blank face here. So if you wanted to stick one of those water side decal set of eyes here onto the blank face, you can just do that. And of course we've got the included stand as usual, but aside from just this regular connector there, you do also have this extra adapter for that which plugs up into that little hole up on that gray part there. So it just gives you a different option for how you want to plug this onto a stand. We also have these optional connector parts, and that is for up here on the shoulder. If you remove these parts here, and then stick this on in its place, the that is for if you wanted to plug any sort of other frame arms arm onto here. So you've already got these kind of like arms here on this part of the backpack or this part of like kind of this like weapons rack thing, backpack sort of thing. If you wanted to plug another set of arms onto that, you could use this peg for that. Or of course you could use this peg for just kind of plugging on any other sort of extra accessory. Otherwise that, I mean, that just gives you a male adapter. Otherwise you do have just have the female peg hole there for plugging on something extra onto the side if you didn't want to have these included accessories plugged onto there. You have an optional set of rabbit ears for this, for the top of the head, so these are just the ones that will stand up straight. These other optional ones will lay back flat like that, so if you want to have them just straight up or you want to have them back, you can choose between those two different options. Then you also have a set of just the legs with just leggings and high heels there, so you can swap those out for the just kind of frame arms version, the base lard version of the legs. You can swap those out for these here. I'll show you those uh, in use here in a bit. And you also have this little puff bunny tail thing for her. So as you can tell, she's kind of got that kind of like bunny made look sort of going on with that. And so here, if you don't have this whole big thing attached onto here, you can plug this onto the back instead for kind of just, yeah, little poof ball there of a bunny tail on the back. So again, I'll show you that in use a little bit later on. Then for hand options, as usual, we've just got the closed fists on there, as well as a set of open expressive hands, open resting hands, two different sets of holding hands. You can see the hole in them is a little bit different. This one is more kind of a square hole is meant to hold those rifles that are mounted up on our shoulders, those purple ones. And then these are just holding hands for holding on to just kind of anything else. And then a set of trigger finger hands, which can also be used for the rifles or whatever. Now let's talk about some of the articulation. Now in general, the figure has all the kind of standard articulation that you would expect from normal frame arms girls. So, I mean, there's nothing really too much special to point out about that. Certain things like down here on the lower leg, this little flap will move, but otherwise everything's all pretty standard. I just wanted to point out some of the articulation here of the kind of weapons unit for this. So these bits down here on the side are connected on this ball joint here. So those will be able to move around a little bit, not really a whole lot, but you can see those that also does give you two more hard points there for plugging on some more accessories or something, extra armor or other weapons or something you might want to plug onto there. And this whole thing has a hinge here so that can all move forward and back 
like that if you might need it to do that for some reason. And then each side is also on a joint so that each side will be able to move forward and back on there as well. And then another joint up here will allow you to rotate that up and down up there as well. So a lot of articulation here built into just the mounting of these parts here onto the backpack. Then of course this whole arm unit can be rotated up here at the top. We can also move that kind of in and out like so. For this whole section here on the outside, you can rotate that up and down over here. So all the way up should come up to something like that. And the rifles can be disattached here from that. So you've got four of them in total, two on each side. And as far as I know, it's pretty much the same thing as with the base large. So, I mean, they're very simple, just a couple of yellow pieces on the top, a couple of purple pieces just sandwiched together, but they're pretty cool looking. That said, one of mine is bowed here, the plastic part, and I can't get it to stick together. So no matter what I do, it's just popping apart like that. So I'll eventually have to glue it. I'll glue it you know, later on, uh, but that is just not wanting to stay together. So I don't know if that's a common issue that other people who have this kit have experience with the rifle, but just keep in mind, you might have to glue one or two of them maybe if yours is also doing that same kind of thing. And just to make it a little bit easier to show you guys the arm, I'll just take this off of the body here. So on this side, you have this arm here like this, and you can see the part that this is is kind of meant to sort of look like a hand holding on to this kind of scissor weapon here. And I'm finding this is kind of very loose. It comes out very easily. But anyway, the arm can rotate there at the top and then you can also get a good bend in that about 90 degrees, kind of basically that's about it. But these can also, as you can see, these can also move here. You have a joint at the base and then a joint in the middle as well that will not pop off of there. These parts are a bit thin and finicky so you can get those to make that sort of shape like that anyway it's kind of a cool weapon I don't know it's not really something that I'm too into I think probably what I'll eventually do later is just swap this out for something different on this arm some other sort of different weapon cannon or something something like what we've got over here on the other arm so you have this cool like magazine sticking out the bottom and then this just kind of cannon tip there at the end this can also rotate there but not really anything you really particularly need it to do so that's pretty much it for the articulation of it but let's try out some different posing Alright, so once you get this into some different cool poses, or even if you just keep it in a standing pose, it's pretty easy to see why this is one of the more popular Frame Arms Girls kits, and like I mentioned, just, just really has a really cool style, and just like the weapons, accessories on it, just all the armor parts, I think the, the, the design of the base lard, the original kit, is a really cool design, and so that adapted here into the Frame Arms line, uh, you know, it still holds up really well, the colors are really cool, as I mentioned before, and just the dynamics of it looks really cool, having the extra set of arms on there and then the rifles up on the shoulder as well. Which, I mean, even if it didn't really have those, it would still look cool. Just having the second set of arms is a cool thing. Sort of like what you have with the Griefin as well, which is another Frame Arms Girl kit, which we'll take a look at uh, in the pretty near future, because I've also got that one ready to review for you guys. And while you do have a couple pieces that it might need a little bit of glue or a little bit of paint on them just to stay firm, just a couple little loose pieces here and there, that's pretty standard. It's nothing really too out of the ordinary. It's not not a big deal to fix. Ultimately, I, there's not really anything too much that I would say as you know being a negative for this kit. It does have a handful of seam lines on there, especially on the rifles, as I noted before. And there's a couple other ones around on just the main body as well as again as per usual. But it is worth pointing out, I suppose, that there are some seam lines on there as well. But I mean, that's just standard, so I don't really feel like that's really something I could point out as a negative. It's something that all of the kits have, so I mean, it's just something that you have to uh, know is going to be a part of the kit when you get a Frame Arms design or a Frame Arms or a Frame Arms Girl kit. And despite the fact that this is one of the ones that came out pretty early in the line, I don't feel like it really has those kind of growing pain issues where a lot of times in any sort of new line of model kits that a company is doing, the first couple releases can, you know, they have a little bit of, it takes a little bit of maybe a couple releases to really perfect what they're doing with the line, but this one I don't really feel really has any of that going on. It does feel really solid and I really like it a lot. So yeah, as I always end up saying in these reviews, if you've never tried one of these kits before, I think especially if you're if you've never tried any of these and you know you're just used to building like robots and Gundams, I feel like this one is a really cool one that does really nicely incorporate the robot aspects of the frame arms that design that this is based off of. So it does still really feel like you're half building a robot kit and then half just building the girl portion of the kit as well. So it's a pretty 
uh, it could be a pretty good like kind of transition kit for getting you into or at least trying out the Frame Arms Girl line if you've never have before to try building a, a Musume, Mecha Musume style kit. So I definitely recommend checking it out so you know whether you've never built any of them before or even if you already have built a few of them and just have never picked up this particular kit. I definitely like this one a lot. And I do have the Zelfa car, which we will take a look at in the future as well. And then there, yeah, like I said, there's the new version of that. I forget what it's called at the moment that is also coming out that's like the back to this original color scheme, but then it's got like some of the uh, Zelfa car stuff and it's also got some kind of new swords and things going on. It's pretty cool, interesting design. So I'm looking forward to that one coming out later on as well. But if you guys do have any other further questions or comments about this kit, of course, feel free to leave those down below. Again, a big thank you to USA Gundam Store for their support. Check out the link to their site in the video description as well. And I'll see you guys all next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.